Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Bruce Schwartz. I appreciate the interest. Thanks for the support. This is a beautiful surface. This video is going to be extreme close-ups. I didn't title it this for nothing. And the high definition of the telescope, we're going to profit so much from it. And we're going to see an amazing surface view. Mons Argeus, right here. Watch the clarity. Watch the closeness. We're going to zoom up. We're going all out. Well, actually not going all out, but getting in there pretty close. This is Bessel Crater. It's inside of Mare Serenitatis. We do not see this very clear in any footage, and it's hard to. Now, when I say we don't see this clear in any footage, we don't. And Bessel Crater is also hard to see. It's small, definitely not seen with the naked eye. I don't think so. And we're going to see some of the descending levels. We're going to see a lot in this video. We're going to see it in a different way, a lot closer than I usually show it. Of course, we're zooming in more. It all depends on what the moon offers us, on how much it wants us to zoom in, guys, meaning depending on the darn light on the surface, emanating light, its phase, the dark line, etc. And of course, I imagine many other factors of our atmosphere and earth and things that we don't even know about are causing us obstructions to be able to view the surface. Nice clear view uh, of the surface tonight, June 21st. And yeah, I have a lot of footage, so I want to get through some of it. Um, I wasn't able to get the moon on the 22nd, um, but that doesn't matter. I'm off now and I'll be working hard to try to get a nice surface. You're really gonna enjoy the surface. We're gonna zoom in excessively close, extremely close, almost to the maximal focal point, probably of this telescope for now with this program, but not at the end at all. We're going to see today also in this video, the wall known um, to be 800 to 1000 feet right here on the bottom right. We're gonna go see it in close-up view and we'll zoom into it. And it basically looks like a nice, a sword, right? When you look at it, you see a handle and a sword. 800 to 1,000 feet. So look at all the beautiful craters that you're gonna see around this area that I'll put, get an arrow up for you guys, don't worry. And you're gonna see how high the craters are around it. We're talking four, five, six, seven, um, eight, nine, ten thousand feet and we're not noticing the descending levels in the in the gray areas in the dark spots deliberate cut out deliberately cut out areas you know jurisdictions um, surrounding territory lines or maybe just a hole or a coincidence but many squares many triangles on the surface of the moon these are all little proofs little findings that lead us again to think that some kind of intelligent species could have actually constructed objects on the surface of the moon, which is absolutely extraordinary to think of it. Here's the wall, just a beautiful shot there that we can see it. Now guys, I'm gonna get in real close in the next frame. We're just gonna continue this little angle here to take a look at the last look at the wall. It's beautiful. But wow, if you think a thousand kilometers, uh, sorry, <laughs> whoa, a thousand feet or 800 feet, it's pretty high, you know, imagine a building a thousand feet, but the craters look a lot higher. Look right here. This is under Proclus Crater, an amazing view of the inside levels, the descending levels, the levels that are hard to see. It looks like a machine, right? everything is connected each object symmetrical and unique in its own way and they're all together it looks like the entire moon is one object with thousands of parts i would not rule that out john lear first person i ever heard to say that and he still talks about it today for years he's been talking about it 
John Lear knows a lot about the atmosphere and he brings a lot up, a lot of questioning up. And of course, he gathers amazing points about it. Check it out, guys. Look at the surface. Look at the surface here. And look at the little detail, the objects. With the four inch scope, without the high definition, I could not get this. I could, I could see a vague outline of the entire outline of it all. The outside of it was too bright. And now we're seeing down to the little detail, which is pretty close to the surface. How close, I don't know. These are all things that, you know, by studying this together, and many other astronomers, of course, they're doing the same thing. We'll get a good idea, but that's not important right now, knowing how close we are. What's important is knowing that there's actual construction on, on the surface of our natural satellite. I don't think there's anything natural about it. You know, we see the moon as a gray moon. And sometimes we see it colorful, depending on how close we get. Well, I'm, let me tell you, the moon is very colorful. And honestly, without exaggerating, I believe the moon is more colorful than our Earth. Has more colors, more different colors. Yes, could be some minerals, but I don't think they're all minerals because minerals usually are not symmetrical. If you see something symmetrical on Earth, it's red, blue, or pink, or we know it's a constructed object. Even if we don't know what the object is itself, we can still, with using our common sense, know that there are constructed objects. You know, people say that it's optical illusions, and they say this, and they say that. Well, I don't know. Take just the time yourselves to look, you know, and find out for yourself. See the connection right here in the crater. By getting in close, we see them now. We see the connection between these two craters. And the closer you get in, the more detail, a lot, it triples, guys. A lot more details around the craters come out. Now, look at this. We could see hundreds of objects around the craters. You know, I really appreciate being able to see that with the scope. Look at this beautiful view. Mare Chrysium over top, Mare Fecunditatis on, in the middle, sorry. And now look again under Proclus Crater as we're going down. Look at these levels, it fascinates me. And honestly, I've never seen it like that, this clarified. Happy to have gotten it that way. And again, I just wanna share this guys with you because imagine how many feet there is from the center of this in the, in the dark here, all the way up the Proclus Crater, sorry, on top. I guarantee you there's thousands and thousands of feet. We see things going into the ground, but having the same reflectivity as, as the surface, of course, it leaves most of you guys not able to distinguish the difference of them. And I understand that, it's normal. But by adapting your eye, it really comes easy. Connecting corridors, objects, things that look like structures. Look here at the level, right there. All these corridors or connections, natural or not, no way. They're not natural, so long me. But natural or not, they're still interesting and not mentioned enough and not looked into enough. We don't have any information about these. Why don't they land in these areas and show us a film of this entire area and point exactly on a bloody map of the moon where they're filming. So, you know, we can study ourselves. It just doesn't make any sense. Here's the Apennine Mountains. Check it out, nice and close as we zoom in and you see it doesn't look like mountains, it just looks like mounds of, you know, objects.